four boys back here are gonna talk a little bit about some sleeping bags. Um, these are two bags that we bought for an upcoming trip. And we had a hard time really getting solid information to compare um, these. We did go to our local REI store and were able to see some models, but they didn't have these from Thermarest. They really didn't have a lot of options from Thermarest. I think they had like one or two bags and, and some blankets and quilts and whatever, but we weren't into that. Uh, we wanted, uh, at, at least initially, these are our first, if you wanna say legit sleeping bags, something other than the truck camping kind of Coleman's that roll up and are humongous. We needed something that would pack down. These are obviously in storage bags. You don't wanna store them compressed. Um, but we went with the Saros bags. Um, the 32 degree is my bag and it's the long size which is also a little bit wider um, we can post a link maybe to each one of these or just the Thermos website in the description but we're not necessarily trying to offer all of the educational information here this is really more about being a comparison between these two um, we're going to unpack them, show the size differences, um, and sort of compress them to show that because that was some of the info that we were really needing before we went ahead and ordered these. And we really had a hard time finding, you know, any real comparison videos. There are people, or situations where people would maybe do a review, um, but you don't get any scale from that and especially with the comparison of the two sizes, um, me being a little bit larger at 6'1", 240, 235, probably right now. <laughs> uh, needed a little more space. And a lot of these bags fit very trim, uh, these mummy style bags. And I did not want to feel like I was being choked all night so at any rate that's sort of what this is going to be about is busting these out just showing the size comparisons we're going to compress them down and um really just you know do the water bottle comparison too once compressed so that you have an opportunity to see um i went with a warmer fill mainly because i wanted to go with the bigger size and one of the things that I don't want to say we didn't really understand. We were having a hard time figuring out what a good temperature range for us was going to be. Um, obviously, the warmer the bag, the warmer the temperature better be. But this 32 degree bag is really not comfortable at 32 degrees. It's probably more like 40 to 45 degrees as a comfort range below 45 you probably better have a little bit of extra clothing on maybe some long johns or something um, because it may start to get cool in there 32 is really sort of the cutoff for use uh, below that i think it's pretty uncomfortable um, the risk level or danger level is closer to zero or minus five minus nine I think actually was kind of dangerous um, where you could actually be in a lot of trouble but understanding that was something that I don't want to say it was a game I, I suppose understanding what would feel comfortable to us versus what the expected temperatures are going to be for the upcoming trip uh, has been a bit of a job to try to figure out you know what the temperatures are out there at elevation and it can be very um i suppose sudden temperature swings i mean you can have some really cold nights that you're not expecting so that was a little worrisome too but we settled on these 
So we've got the 32 and the 20. Again, I chose the warmer bag so that it could be smaller and just decided that I'll bring some long johns and sleep with my pack jacket on even if I have to. Um, if, you know, if there was any worry of, you know, not getting a good night's sleep. Because when you hike out to the mountains, you definitely want to make sure you can sleep pretty decent. You don't want cold nights. So there we are. We're going to get these unpacked and laid out and get a little bit of video of what they look like when they're opened up. Okay, I'm not going to get real heavy on the specs. Obviously, the long bag is longer. Um, but we will offer at least some of these dimensions save you the trouble and at least have some perspective of what you're looking at here on video the long bag is 85 inches long versus the regular which is 80 the long bag is 33 inches wide versus 31 and a half on the regular you can see on the long bag they do give it a little bit taller of a toe box um obviously the proportion of a given person's feet might be a little bit bigger than uh, somebody who is able to fit into the smaller bag. Okay, the weight on these, the 32 degree in the long size is two pounds, eight ounces. The regular size 20 degree is three pounds, three ounces. So again, that was uh, some weight that I was able to trim by going with the warmer bag um, in addition to hopefully packing down smaller. So we're gonna pack these up. Uh, again, this is not really intended to be a thorough review. It's more of an initial review, um, just for comparison's sake, so that if you're considering buying one of these bags um, and maybe unsure of which size that you need, um, or need two bags and you, you just really want to have some contrast comparison here um, That's kind of what this is for they do come with the compression Bag uh, the factory one we bought This is the original Compression bag it leaves a little bit to be desired we ended up buying a full-on dry bag compression sack. Um, a little disappointing was the compression bag for the 20 degree broke the very first time we tried to pack it up. Straps tore right out. Um, called or emailed, I think. Yeah, we emailed them. And they did not um, seem real eager to make it right. It was, they were saying like six to eight weeks to send out a new compression bag. And what was crazy was that I ordered my bag three days later and they sent it in two days. So as long as you're spending money, they can get you something in a couple of days. If they have to warranty something for you, six to eight weeks, it was insane, uh, and very disappointing. So we bought went ahead and bought these other compression bags, not anticipating actually getting the replacement compression bag from them. So worth noting, and that was directly from Cascade Designs, I think is the name of the company. Well, from Thermarest, but it's from Cascade. That's the parent company. So directly from Thermarest, we ordered it straight through their website and contacted them directly for the warranty so it wasn't some unauthorized retailer weird situation it was straight up from the website from the manufacturer you know they had evidence we had an order number and six to eight weeks to send us a new part that you know it's maybe four dollars you know on a two hundred dollar bag um i guess since we're on that topic the pricing on these is uh, these these bags. This Saros is a synthetic fill, and there's pros and cons to both synthetic and down. We're not really going to get into all of it. Supposedly, the synthetic 
dries faster, performs a little bit better if it gets wet. Um, packs down pretty well, but I know one of the main advantages of down is that it can be thinner and warmer and um, or just require less fill to achieve the same rating anyway. But they pack down way smaller um, than I think the synthetic bags do. But they're also almost double the cost. I think that this large size 32 degree bag is about $199, like $200. And the 20 degree regular size bag, I think is 209 uh, for the regular size, something like that. So, you know, being that these have two different ratings, uh, it's not, you know, a, an even comparison, but I was able to get a larger bag for a few bucks less um, by dropping some of the fill out of there. So, just kind of wanted to bring that up worth noting we're gonna get these things stuffed in their compression bags and be right back one thing I want to talk about real quick before we get these stuffed into these compression bags is the compression bag that they come with when you buy them is maybe adequate to do the job um, it has more of like a cinch top. Um, very similar material compared to, these are the Sea to Summit um, compression bags we bought. This has more of a rip stop kind of pattern in the fabric. Um, they also have an actual like dry bag top. So that was important to us for what we have bought these for and what we plan to do with them. So there is a distinction there that, you know, if you're going on a trip where you could anticipate rain uh, or a lot of rain, um, you may want to at least go the extra mile here to ensure that your bag stays dry. It's probably the most important thing to stay dry besides your clothing and matches and such. But the other thing that we wanted to point out was we had initially bought two of these medium sized dry compression sacks the 20 degree regular size will not fit in that so we actually had to go back and get the xl in order to fit the bag before it gets compressed we tried tried and it just was not going to work so that's something that's important to know um, i'm actually able to put a large or long 32 degree bag in a medium dry compression sack and the regular size 20 degree uh, is requires the xl um, it's a really important thing to know especially if you're short on time and don't have time to be reordering. Maybe that can help you get it right. So we're going to get them stuffed in and be back.
Okay, both bags all packed up. 20 degree on the right, 32 degree on the left. Some initial perspective on the size differences. Good shadow there, sorry. Trying to work with the basement lighting here. Just trying to give a little bit of size perspective. Um, we come up with about an overall diameter of about eight inches on the 32 degree when all packed up and about 10, right around 10 and a half uh, for the 20 degree. And they're both very similar height. About nine and a half inches on that one. About 10 on the 20 degree. We went ahead and put these in the Sea to Summit compression bags as we earlier had noted the 20 degrees compression sack broke as soon as we tried to compress it for the very first time. So we use these. Um, I feel like they do a better job anyway. They have more substantial straps. Um, but there's more to it than just the fact that this compression bag is bigger. That 20 degree bag in the regular size fills that thing up. That is as small as it will go. It is super tight. There's just a ton of fill. Um, on the other hand, obviously the trade-off with the 32 degree is less fill but much less size. So I like how it packs down. I don't care if I got to pack a change of clothes for a cold mountain night. Um, or, you know, an extra pair of long johns or whatever. Um, I think that the smaller size and um, really that temperature rating will be more comfortable more often for me than such a warm bag. But that's where we are. So one more feature that we didn't mention earlier that the Thermarest has and don't really know if anybody else does this or not. I would hope so, but... They have straps on the back that keep your sleeping pad in place. Um, not sure how well that works. Um, we definitely will give a more thorough review after the, after the trip. Um, so I guess if you haven't already, consider uh, subscribing and uh, maybe hitting that like button for us. If you like videos like this, try to offer, you know, real first hand opinion of what we got this is just our initial impression of, of these two bags good comparison for different sizes different fill ratings and certainly how small they compress and we could throw a water bottle in there too for a little bit of perspective so obviously much bigger than a water bottle but as far as height, very similar. So anyway, um, yeah, again, upcoming trip, there'll be some footage certainly to come. Remote mountain lake trout fishing, Pacific Northwest there in Washington, that's where we'll be heading. So definitely be an important part of our trip, these bags and the sleeping pads. And we also did a Initial review of the sleeping pads, the Neolite from Thermarest. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Four boys out.